is going on guys welcome back to clash there today i've got something very special for you we are teaming up with esl to bring you a new series on the channel here part of the series is going to be released right here on my channel the rest of the series is going to be released on the esl mobile youtube channel it is a relatively small channel right now but i want you guys to go there and subscribe and blow it up because this channel is where esl puts on a lot of the events that don't go on to the main clash of clans uh, YouTube channel. So things like the ESL Mobile Open, the Montreal Dream Hack. These are major esports events in Clash of Clans, and you might be missing out on them because you're not subscribed to the ESL Mobile YouTube channel. So I want you to go down in the description of this video, go down in the comment section, click on that link, and go subscribe to their channel, and then sit back and enjoy the show here because we got a brand new series, and let's go check it out. What's going on guys? I'm your host today, Clash with Eric, and today we're checking out Gaku from the Queen Walkers. Gaku, during the World Championship qualifiers in Poland, went four out of five triples and took his team into the World Championship, giving them that golden ticket to Hamburg, Germany, and going to play for their share of that $1 million prize pool. And you guys can go check that out too. So if you go onto the ESL website, you'll be able to buy your tickets now and go to that event. I hope I'll see you there, but let's Let's go check out Gaku and see how he brought down this base. All right, guys, here's the army composition that Gaku is using for this attack. This is the Electro Drag Bat attack. So as you can see on the bottom of your screen there, we have nine balloons, two baby dragons. The main force is seven Electro Dragons. And then we have a special purpose for the Stone Slammer, which is carrying two dragons. And then he has two rages for the Electro Dragons and nine bat spells. So we're going to see on the space here, he has the Town Hall on the bottom and he has three Multi-Infernos wrapped across the top side, completely surrounded by Wizard Towers. So that big top side is almost impossible to move bats through and he has nine of them. So how is he going to make use of these spells? Well, he does notice that because all the splash damage is on the top of the base there, he can send the bats in from the bottom. The Town Hall would normally roast them, but if he sends them in before the Town Hall is activated, the bats could come in from the bottom and sweep through all of these Archer Towers and potentially make it to these air defenses and clear a lot of the damage off of the, the dragons when they come in later and not make those dragons have to go through the Town Hall. We can then send them somewhere else and we can send the Stone Slammer through the Town Hall. So he's thinking, that the E-Drags will come in from the top side here and come in right here. So he needs to form a funnel there. So he's going to throw an Electro Dragon up in the top corner up here, and then he'll throw his King to walk this edge and clear all the trash here. And then he just has to worry about this air defense right over here. So if he can take down this air defense, then he will be in good shape and the dragons will be able to sweep through to the core and be able to take it down. So he's gonna send in his queen to go in and snipe off this air defense right there and get as much as this side of the funnel as she can get. So that's the basic idea of the attack. And we'll see it play out here and see how Gaku brings down this base. All right, guys, his attack is underway. Let's see Gaku pick this base apart. So, bats coming in from the bottom side. They have to come in before the town hall is activated. Otherwise, that town hall will roast him. They're bunching up more on the right side, which is good to take out the air defense on the right side because they'll get the one shot. Even with that wizard tower there, they'll be able to dodge the first shot. If they had to take a second strike at that air defense, they would not make it through, which is what we're seeing over on the left side. They didn't get as many bats there, and he wasn't able to get the one shot there. Baby dragons coming in on the bottom side. Those baby dragons have a couple purposes. One, saving time to clear the trash, but two, they're going to make so that that they can clear the area of black mines and potentially activate the town hall so that the stone slimer can target the town hall as a defense before he reaches 50 percent so he can send it in in advance if he wants to the king coming in over three o'clock forms the funnel on the right side the e-drag at 12 o'clock with the help of a couple blues there because he finds a tesla farm is going to clear the funnel on the top side while the queen comes in at 10 o'clock clears out some of the trash there and takes out the air defense and makes it so that the e-drags are not going to have any damage at the end of the attack after they run out of spells so in comes main push here balloons out in front there are going to make so that he has a little bit of trap coverage as he surges forward here and those balloons are going to protect those dragons from black mines there's a bunch going off in the core of the base there and now the e-drags can step up into the middle and he's going to get a last rage on them the raged e-drags do better than regular dragons and they're going to get chains deep into the base there try to take down that air defense that was left behind but he's got to get the chains to it through that expo when you go through high hit point structures with those chains you can get 
get a couple strikes off and take out buildings that are far beyond those e-drags reach and that is where their strength is so now just a couple defensive structures left but plenty of e-drags because he was able to conserve their health as they push through he's going to be able to bring it down so beautiful attack by gaku here thinking outside the box and bringing this space down with style and securing queen walker's position for the world championship in germany so if you want to see more of the queen walkers in action then make sure you get your tickets for hamburg germany in october tickets are on sale now so get them and i'll see you guys there ま、毎月日本がこうやって大会に出てきてくれるし、どんどん日本での注目度も上がってるのですごく力になってます。日本の方からの応援がたくさんいただけるのは僕たちにとってすごい力になります。し、もうかなり注目度も上がってると思うので